Hello and welcome to Egistics Cloud Docs, Document Management for Business. This movie describes the powerful search feature of Cloud Docs, enabling business users from any PC with internet access to easily search for and find a single document or many documents. You will find helpful information to learn more about Egistics Cloud Docs at the end of this movie. This screen represents the home page. It's from this page that I will select the document group with which I want to work. You can think of a document group as a document folder where document files are kept. In this example, I've logged in as user Sean Alvarez, a member of the Human Resources group. My login privileges enable me to access Human Resources documents, but not documents for, say, accounting or contract administration. In Cloud Docs, if I want to see the document groups to which I have access, I can simply click on the group drop-down list, click on a group to select it, and then click on the search link in the menu bar. Clicking the search link in the menu bar brings up the search fields for the group I selected. Cloud Docs can be configured to display different search fields for different groups. In this case, search fields for human resources documents are displayed. Fields on this screen can be customized to meet specific document search requirements. Depending on the type of field and whether it requires numbers, text, or dates, I can select different arguments to use to refine my search. For example, with text searches, I can select whether my search should equal whatever I type in or begin with it, end with it, or simply contain it. Number and date fields have additional selections. In this example, I will restrict my search to job applicants residing in the state of Arizona. First, I'll select the state of Arizona. Then, I'll select Applicant from the Employment Status field. This makes it easy to find exactly what I need. Finally, I'll click on the Search button. Cloud Docs will then display the results of my search. I can click on any of the blue column headings to sort the results by that column. If I click the column heading again, the column will be sorted in reverse order. Depending on the privileges given me by my admin, I can do several things on this screen. I can display one or more documents. I can export index data or create annotations to attach to a document record. Or merge two or more documents together. Or update index fields for a set of records. Or update one or more index fields for all selected records whether they're related records or not. I'll take each of these one at a time and explain them. First, I'll display a document. By simply clicking on the PDF icon for a record, I can display the image. The image is displayed in Adobe Reader, so I don't need a proprietary or licensed viewer to see documents. From Adobe Reader, I can print, save, or email. When I'm through viewing, I simply click on the X in the upper right-hand corner of the viewer to close the document. To view multiple documents is a single, multi-page PDF. I select the documents I want to see, and then click the Master PDF icon. It's the top PDF icon in the column Headings bar. To illustrate this, I'll select all the documents on this page using the top selection box and then click the Master PDF icon. Cloud Docs will then assemble the documents and create a multi-page PDF for me to open or save. This may take a few seconds. Once the download prompt appears, I can choose Open to see my multi-page PDF. Once the Adobe Reader window opens, I can scroll through the documents or rearrange the window on my screen or use any of the features in my version of Adobe Reader. When I'm through, I can close the window. To export the index data for one or more records, I will use the mouse to select the records I need and then click the Export icon. In this example, I will select all the records on this screen by clicking here, and then I'll click on the export icon. As a result, a comma-separated value file is automatically created. I can then open it in my own spreadsheet application or save it to my PC. So I'll go ahead and open it. Make sure that your browser settings permit you to download files in order to take advantage of this feature. 
Contact your network administrator if you need help. Once the file is open, I can save it to my PC or do anything else I wish using the features of my spreadsheet. Any changes I make to the index data within the spreadsheet application are not saved in CloudDocs. When I'm finished, I can simply close the spreadsheet application. Adding annotations to an item is easy. By clicking on the icon that looks like a speech bubble for the item that I wish to annotate, the annotation window is displayed. Now, annotations are simply notes that can be attached to an item without altering the item itself. Any notes that are added are identified with the user ID, date, and time. While annotations can be added, they cannot be deleted. They become permanently attached to the item. I'll type in a note in the lower part of the annotation window. Once I've completed my note, I click on the Add button to create the annotation. You can see my new note in the upper part of the annotation window. Any future annotations that I or someone else adds to this item will also be displayed in this window. To close the annotations window, I click on the X in the upper right-hand corner. This concludes the basic overview of Egistics Cloud Docs Search. Look for other instructional movies about such topics as editing index data for single items, editing index data for multiple items, and merging two or more documents together. If you're viewing this movie using YouTube, make sure that you use the subscribe button. This will make sure that as we add new instructional movies, you'll be kept up to date on what's new with Cloud Docs. Thank you for viewing this movie about Egistics Cloud Docs. Here's a helpful web link and phone number to learn more about Cloud Docs. By the way, if you're a scanning service provider or service bureau, contact us today about becoming one of our VAR partners.